Good afternoon, Miss and my fellow friends. Today, our group are going to present about the issues faced in creating a better workforce in the event industry. So, these are my group members: Xiao Xin Yi, Yu Jiaming, Li Jin Yi, Ti Jia Wen, and me, Lo Chao Yi. So, I will start with the introduction first. So, what is Blender Workforce? Blender Workforce is a combination of a variety of different employees on the different contracts in the company, which included a permanent full-time staff, part-timers, temporary workers, contractors, freelancers, and also agency workers. So, a Blender Workforce has introduced a diversity in the workforce and also they have provided a, a very flexibility to the employees in the business environment. Yeah, so the employment and also development trends in event industry. So the first one is event management courses are increasing and also popular nowadays in college and also university and also the event industry have grown fast in the last 10 years so this has created a more job opportunities for the fresh graduate from event management courses students and also the public sector have spent a lot on organizing events nowadays so this might bring a very good news for event industry and also expand the event market so for the development trends the company I use for example is Google company Google company have provided a very flexible working for the part-timer, full-time, freelancers, internship and also temporary staff. For those internship or part-timer who work in Google company may have the opportunity to move to a higher position after they have completed their internship contract and also part-time contract. So Google have also provided a very new challenges and also different challenges for their temporary staff or also part-time part -time staff so that they can handle any of the different role of job in different job and different role and the next is they have also let all their employees to explore new projects so that they can explore more on different role so that they can handle the different role of job easily so next, I will pass it to Ti So the first issue which is communication breakdown. Freelancers or team members may have different ideas about what or when the information needs to be communi communicated about. They may have different schedule, different time zone, or even different working hour that can lead to communication get stuck. So the causes and impact which is the time pressure, in general the goal in organization must be complete within in a specific time period which can lead to adverse consequences. In order to meet the deadline, formal channel of communication had been shortened or information given incomplete, they are not fully transferred. So there should be enough time for effective communication. The next causes which is lack of plan. If the business does not have a clear plan of the event, there may be a problem with employee communication when something unexpected occurs because employee may, may not know how to deal with. So the next example which is employee should provide feedback to improve the quality of information distributed and how information is delivered. For example, if a department prefer to send a message in, in a format that confusing the rest of the company, then the department need to inform them immediately about the communication problem or else the message from the group will be challenged to communicate. So the recommendation which is and abridge clear communication. Don't communicate entirely via email. It can make a big difference to someone working off-site to hear or see what they are working with. Feedback is more meaningful if it is coming from a real person. As for example, can, can be live conversation are more likely to spread out the information than email 
or instant message. So the next, I will pass to Rachel. Uh, good afternoon, guys and miss. Uh, my name is Yuja Ming. Now I'm going to talk about the compliance issue. Uh, employee classifications can be complex, so a company has to know how to work with them and how much control it has over their day-to-day -day work. Uh, there are different types of workers, such as full-time employees, independent contractors, and contingent workers. Like full-time employees, uh, they, can, they might cause issues like discriminations, disparity in benefits, administrations, and inconsistent applications of labor laws. For independent contractors, they might cause issues like potential misclassification challenge. Um, they might require company to treat and pay them as employees. So for the contingent workers, they could be considered as core employees of client company and staffing firms. Next will be the examples. <coughs> There are some examples for the issues. The first one is companies might state or suggest preferred candidates in job advertisement and exclude potential employee during requirement, deny certain employees compensations or benefits, pay different salaries to equally qualified employees in the same positions, as well as discriminate when assign, assigning disability leave, maternity leave, or retirement options. Here are some recommendations for the issues. The first one is company should avoid having this individual work late without over, overtime pay, even if regular employees do so. The second one is company have to limit on demand workers' involvement in employees' events such as parties and awards ceremonies, which can be construed as treating them like full-time employees. And the last one will be company need to identify the difference between an employee and an independent contractor because company with, con with centralized management of Contingent workers often have a good result, according to the Johnson 2017. Now I will pass to Jingyi for her part. Thank you, Rachel. So the third, the third issue is varying work, uh, work schedules. The summary is many freelancers work on their schedule, which may, may or may not match to the regular business hours. It is essential to ensure up for, for front that all team members will be available at the critical times throughout the project. Cause and impact. Lack of team spirits. In team oriented departments, teams still need to meet to having a meeting, which requires some set guidelines. Full time workers sometimes will view their contingent workers as slackers because they don't. They can't physically see their productivity. The third one is time management. The employee have different work schedules. They are unable to manage their schedule and drag on the progress of the project. The example is lack of communication and collaboration. For example, in 2013, Yahoo News CEO Marisa Maya banned their staff from working from home. The the email sent to the staff said that to become the absolute best place to work, communication and collaboration will be important, so we need to be working side by side. Some of the best decision and insight comes from the hallway and cafeteria departments and discussions, meeting new people and extemporarily team meetings. Speed and quality are often sacrificed when we are working from home. 
The recommendation is ensure workers are using communication tools like Skype, Skype, Slack and other services during their working hours. Try to set up weekly check-ins for every account or departments. The third one is don't forget to have a regularly scheduled all hands on deck, on deck meeting. The last one is most, impo uh, most important is try to accommodate each of the employee by holding meetings at different times of the day and days of the week. Scheduling meetings this way tells everyone that their time is valuable. So now I will pass to Singi. Thank you, Jimmy. So the last issue will be the fragmented team. Fragmented team appear when there is no unifying in the development world and it includes their salary, rank and working performance. So for the staff, for the cost and impacts, the staff pay, staff pay for the part-timer staff, it is lower than the full-timer, but actually they are doing the same job. And for the rank, their part-timer ranks will be equal or even greater than the full-timer staff. And for the working performance, the full-timer staff, some of them are not doing their best work. And for the part-timer staff, they are doing, some of them are doing better than the full-timer. And the full-timer will feel unstable for their employment on their work is not being valued and they will feel threatened by part-timer and after they threaten and they will act and think negatively and they will show lower performance. And for the part-timer, if they decide want to join this company as a full-timer and they will have bad image for this company and cancel this idea. And for the example, for the staff pay, the part-timer workers and full-timer workers are doing the same job but they didn't get the equal pay and from the research by Brinkley, it, it, he noted that the employer cost of wages and salaries per hour work for full-timer workers were higher than the part-timer. And for the working performance, the general performance level and the quality of work performance for the part-timers are higher than the full-timers. And for the recommendation, the company can offer bonus if can to motivate them and they can have some company, company outing too. And the company can recognize the full-timers and part-timers birthday to make them feel valued. And they can ask all the staff for their feedback about their working experience. So thank you.